Welcome to number three in this series of short education videos brought to you by Syndex as part of the effort mobilization and demands against corporate greed. In order to get the most out of this session, we ask that you look back at sessions one and two, which covered financialization in theory and financialization in practice. We also recommend that before you watch this video, you read the accompanying final report of the project. Read the accompanying checklist on financialization indicators and read our series of questions to ask on financialization. And please, if you enjoy these videos, spread the word to a colleague, a friend, or someone you think will benefit. This short video is on some of the key concepts relating to how to respond to financialization. We've shown how financialization works in theory and practice. But how does it affect workers and how can it be addressed? Firstly, Financialization has contributed to a decline in productive investments and to the decline in the share of the economy going into workers' wages and salaries. Secondly, financialization has contributed to breaking the link between wage growth and productivity. Thirdly, financialization has led to instability for workers. Mergers and acquisitions leading to pressure for synergies, ever greater emphasis on short-term profit extraction, leading to pressure on wages and terms and conditions. A further impact of financialization has been a greater division and a growing salary gap between the very highest paid and the average. Financialization has even led to the concept of the disappearing employer. For example, if your company is taken over by a private equity fund, your company is still the employer, but the real power and influence over the company's direction may now lie elsewhere. The question now is what can be done to address financialization? What are the concepts for action? You will see in the deliverables accompanying this project a comprehensive list of potential actions. But here are two ideas for how to approach financialization in your company. Regarding financial practices of the company, consider asking the following questions. What percentage of the company's profits are being allocated to dividends, share buybacks, and debt repayments? Can the company provide a detailed breakdown of financial flows and how they are reinvested into the business? How much of the company's budget is dedicated to research and development, employee training, and other long-term investments? Regarding the impact on employment and workers' conditions, consider these three key concepts. How do financial decisions, such as increased debt or share buybacks, impact job security and future employment? What measures are in place to ensure that financial strategies do not lead to job cuts, wage stagnation, or deteriorating working conditions? How does a company plan to maintain or improve employee benefits and working conditions in the face of financialization pressures? If you are a member of a European Works Council, here are five questions worth considering. Is the information supply adequate to deal with issues relating to financialization? Are issues relating to financialization being covered at annual meetings? Does your EWC have adequate resources or expertise to deal with issues of financialization. Has your EWC considered training for members on financialization as part of its work? Is the EWC discussing the issues relating to financialization with others in the EWC loop, such as unions, local works councils, etc.? At all times, ask yourself, are you as an employee representative or trade unionist entitled to expert advice and support? If you are, make sure to access it. Please watch the final video in this series and check out the accompanying checklist on financial indicators and the full series of questions to ask on financialization.